ELA English Language Arts Test Taking Writing Skills. Prepare for K through 12 state standards exams. In this presentation, I'm going to tell you exactly what your student needs to know to be able to successfully pass the writing portions of standardized test exams. Let's get started. Here are the writing skills you need to know. Find the theme or the main idea or also called the central idea of a reading passage. Know the differences between a topic and a theme. Text evidence, either direct quotes or paraphrasing the text, meaning you need to be able to identify direct quotes from the text. You need to be able to summarize it in your own words if you are not directly quoting it. That's what paraphrase is, putting it in your own words without directly quoting it. Argument. Know about the argument, also called the opinion essay. Develop a claim, meaning you need to be able to write an argument based on your opinion that is backed by facts in the reading passage that you are given. For example, all students should get six months of summer break. That's a claim. Now you need to give evidence as to why students need six months of summer break and to be able to write it in essay format. Informational or expository writing. This is basically writing that's written in the third person, so it can be anything. You need to be able to take facts from a passage to make an inference. Meaning even if the passage, the reading passage does not directly state something, what can you get from it based on everything else that you have read? You need to know what an inference is and how to make an inference. Be able to give specific examples, either from the text evidence that you are given or maybe direct quotes that you remember or that might come from the text, from literature, for example, short stories or books, a movie, television, or pop culture. Say, for example, you need to write a brief essay on someone who showed great strength of character. Who can you come up with? What three examples can you come up with of someone who has shown great strength of character? It could be a character in a book or in some literature that you read. It could be a real person from history or a person that is alive right now. You could say Barack Obama. You may have watched a movie where you think somebody showed great strength of character. Or there might be a famous person or a celebrity that you think shows great strength of character. That's what we mean. Be able to give examples and write it in your essay to give details based on the question that you are being asked on the test. Here are some writing conventions. These are things that students are scored on when they take a state standards exam or some of your high schools, some of your colleges and universities might want you to take a writing proficiency exam. Either way, these are the things, the basics that you must master so that you can do well on the exam. These are things that everybody looks at whenever they score a writing portion of any sort of standardized test. Number one, capitalization and all mechanics, grammar, punctuation, sentence construction, meaning subject, verb, object, in the correct order, your clauses, introductory phrases, all make sense. Sentence construction, simple sentences and complex sentences. They're looking for paragraph organization, spelling, transition words, introductory phrases, word choice based on your grade level, meaning you need to have a good enough vocabulary for you to be able to express yourself in writing based on your grade level and development of ideas, meaning details. Don't just answer yes or no. 
be able to write, describe, and give full details based on the question that they are asking you. More writing conventions. You need to know basic essay structure, introduction, body, and conclusion. Also, the essay format, also called the five-paragraph format, where you need an introduction, three body paragraphs, and one conclusion. This is important. Even if you write a short response of only five to 10 sentences, you still need a sentence that is your intro. You still need the middle part, which is the body, and you still need a sentence or two to conclude or wrap up what you just said. Essay organization. You need to know what chronological order is, also called time sequence, meaning that you put things in order from beginning to end so that it is logical and whoever is reading it can understand it without getting confused because all of your paragraphs are in order. Progression of ideas. One idea in a paragraph leads to the next idea in logical order. So this goes with chronological order or time sequence, meaning that your sentences within the paragraph all are in, a, in an order that makes sense. And your paragraphs that make up your entire essay response are also in order and make sense. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you want more information, if you want to learn more, and I know you do, go ahead and take our student success writing classes. You can find me at arhampton.com or onyxedonline.com. You can use a 50% off discount code STUDENT50 to take 50% off any class. But we have student success grammar classes, writing skills classes, and then the essay writing class. We also have print books to support your learning. You want to go to onyxedonline.com, click start here, click student success so that you can see all of the classes and books that we offer to help you and your student to improve your writing and English language skills so that you can be successful in your academic classes. All right, thank you so much and hope to see you in a class soon. Happy learning.